Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Friday of the second week after the Epiphany. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, is the light of the world, grant that your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, may shine with the radiance of Christ's glory, that he may be known, worshipped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you in the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson is from the letter to the Ephesians the sixth chapter, beginning at the first verse. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may be well with you, and you may live long on the earth. And fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, in singleness of heart as you obey Christ, not only while being watched and in order to please them, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Render service with enthusiasm as to the Lord and not to men and women, knowing that whatever good we do, we will receive the same again from the Lord, whether we are slaves or free. And masters, do the same to them. Stop threatening them, for you know that both of you have the same master in heaven, and with him there is no partiality. Here ends the lesson. Notice that children are addressed directly in this lesson. That implies that there were children in the congregation where the letter was read. What we don't know is whether these children were adolescents or adult children in communities that typically had multiple generations of the same family living and staying in close proximity to one another. Obedience in the Lord means that the obedience of children to their parents takes on new meaning. It makes real the nature of the commitment to the Lord and to live in the Lord. The obedience of children is central to both Jewish and Greco-Roman ethical teaching. Paul quotes the fifth commandment of the Decalogue, or the Ten Commandments, which is, honor your father and your mother. There's a difference between obey and honor. Parents, especially Christian parents, are called to be patient, loving, and kind while teaching their children to love God. Parents are to bring their children up in the knowledge and love of the Lord by engaging them in instruction of the faith and prayer. As in any relationship, modeling is the best teacher. What a parent tells a child is of little account if their own behavior defies what they say to their children. Once children reach adulthood, they are no longer obligated to obey their parents, but they are always to honor their parents. Some parents and adult children confuse the two words. The role of parents is to love, guide, teach, and give their children a foundation on which they can build a life with God through Jesus Christ at the center. Let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, You have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Give us calm strength and patient wisdom as we bring them up, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Mm -hmm.